There's a lot of hope out there priced into the market. What are the key risks? Well, Brian said it's hope. But there's, uh, these hopes are going to, their expectations that they're going to come to fruition at some point. So we're going to get the fiscal stimulus package sooner rather than later. If we don't get it now, we'll get it in early February. The vaccinations are coming. Earnings were better than expected Q3. Weaker dollar plays into good multinational earnings. So we're still looking for upside and realizing that maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves in terms of the expectations, wanting it now. But it's coming. So investors should stay in the market and pick their spots on the days of red. Are you sort of in this 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 roaring 20s redux idea? I mean, it seems like a lot of strategists tripping over themselves to raise their targets for 2021, the back half of next year being seen as a big win. Where do you fall, Joe? Well, whenever someone says roaring 20s, I always immediately think how it ended. So that kind of scares me in that sense. We always look at history, but no. Brian, hey, we had five or six good years before we everything collapsed for a decade. For a decade or so, then there was you know wars and so forth. So the Roaring Twenties had you know has different connotations for people. But we're 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 very constructive on equities, really across the board, broadening out to large cap, small cap, growth value. We're adding international exposure to the portfolio. So there are days when people are talking is extended, but. You know, go back to earnings. Earnings were better than expected in Q3, and we expect that's going to be the underlying support for a grind higher in the market into 21 and beyond. What if we don't get stimulus? What if vaccines take longer to roll out than we think? What if lockdowns, especially in the cold Northeast, extend longer than we think? I mean, we're not thinking or we don't seem... We all want to look for reasons to be hopeful. I get that. Me as much as anybody else out there sort of on the financial media landscape. But what if things maybe don't work as smoothly or as quickly as we hope? Is there any guidance for your clients and our viewers as a way to protect by S&P puts, by the VIX, as some sort of well, protection well, that we can it, purchase? Exactly. You know, watch the VIX very carefully, how that's trending. But we would say, you know, if there's disappointment in because there's delays, the market gaps down, there's negative economic news, that, that's a buying opportunity in, in the right space, whether what sectors, quality companies, because you know, it's, it's a buying opportunity if you do believe science is going to win and it's going to win, that we are going to get, get another stimulus because we will. Washington will fancy up. We've got Jay Powell has our back in the market as well. So if there's expect, you know, disappointment around the expectations of not moving fast enough, that's a buying out, particularly for that investor that's been waiting, right? We've, we've had a lot of investors kind of wait all year, like, I'm not, I don't want to get back in now. Well, the waiting period is over. If we get a pullback, that's an opportunity to get exposure to equities. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.